Uh oh. Ow! What happened? Are these triviality stones? What is going on here? Ow! What happened? I accidentally destroyed the stage. As I was about to strike you down, I discovered this weird door. I have restlessly searched this whole castle many times in search of answers. And this is the first time I see this place. Uh, What the? What are you even doing? Who are you? I need to find a way to defeat Stitches. This might be my last hope. You don't have to do this alone, you know. Yeah, we all want the same thing, right? But you're his minions. Just enemies to be defeated. Why would you help me? Look, I used to think that too, not so long ago. But traveling with this kid has changed how I view friends and foes. I'm still not sure myself, but we could figure this out together. Uh, what? It's still the same password, Mr. Pinbox! I can't believe you forgot! Yeah, well, uh, my memory is not as good as yours, child. Let's make haste. We left an important thing around here somewhere. Yes, sir! I guess that was pretty convenient. So, should we g go in, or...? That was... Unexpected. Welcome to my world. That's how it usually goes with them. I'll scout ahead. See you later. We should go in too. I have a strange feeling about all this. What is the deal with all those trivality stones, anyway? Oh boy. The next door is also locked. Moth Freak must know something about this. Oh dear, I actually did forget about this particular door's password. Man, you're useless! As if you would happen to know the password. Nah, you don't need to remember. Those creepy robots know the passwords, dummy! My word! You're correct, young one. Masked child, could you go ask one of those robots if they know the password? Remember to be polite! Eh? Be polite got you a beat that last time, remember? Don't worry, we know how to be polite. Aggressively polite. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh dear. Uh. Huh? What the? What do I do? Oh. Dear. Uh, oh. What, the... what do I do? Ah. Oh. What do I do? Oh. Okay, I get it now.
Okay. Uh-oh. Level up! I definitely want to attack. Okay, I'm done. I'm always forgetting my passwords. I'm going to start recording them on my trusty Eidermons. This door's password is... Odakova. You better write these down in your journal, kid. doing here? Hello there, Traveler. I'm not exactly sure how I got here, but that doesn't mean we can't talk business. Check out this stuff. Hmm. Uh, what? Zero coins. I pay, 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 pay. Got some text messaging. Oh dear. This is locked. Uh, yeah. Thanks for staying the obvious. Hey. Sorry, it's usually my job. There should be some sort of opening mechanism. Indeed! We need to enter four passwords in order to unlock the door, if I remember correctly. There are more mean-looking robots around here. You could have to say them something about the secret words. Four passwords. Destroy robots. Got it. I'll stay here while you find the passwords. You seem like a capable bunch. Right. We get to do the journey job. <laughs> we'll keep you company, smelly kid! I don't smell! I'm just... <sighs> Actually, these clothes do kind of smell. Good luck babysitting! Hey! Where are we 
go from here then? Uh oh. Power malfunction detected. Backup generators online. Please stand by. Malfunction terminated. Main power restored. Please ignore loose power cables in the central room. They shall be fixed promptly. Security polar droids deployed. Facility lockdown successful. Lockdown? Looks like we can't get out from where we came from. But it seems like something happened in the left room. Let's check it out. Not taking damage from it, am I? Seems like I am. I have no idea what to do about it. You go. When Sitches tasked me with this project, I never imagined I would be able to work in such a comfortable facility. Rising and lowering the water levels to swim around the factory is extremely practical. I have managed to design it in such a way that water levels stay the same through every room. But I must keep in mind that my Eidermons don't work underwater. I don't get one of my passwords. If they are submerged, I will be in big trouble. Well, at least we know for sure who's in charge of this factory. Huh? Like it's so hard to figure out, kid. Come on, there's no need to be sarcastic. 
<gasps> you got it. that. Boot, slingshot, hammer, boot. Jump, slingshot, hammer, jump. Yep. Sword, hammer, down, jump. Sword, hammer, down, jump. Down, jump. Sword, hammer, down, jump. Sword, hammer, down. Jump. Sword, hammer, down jump. Down, jump, sling. Hammer 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 down, jump, sling. I've modified some employees to fit certain criteria, like enhancing their abilities or elemental powers. These enhanced subjects call themselves mini bots. I guess they like to sound important. Many bosses are especially useful when we want to test the hero's abilities. I'm always careful not to make them too strong for the hero's sake. It's always a hassle when a hero dies. And they get lost so easily too. I can't believe I have put so many maps around the world. Thinking about heroes always gets me all worked up. Anyway, ran over. Back to work. I needed a way to keep tabs on all the subjects. That's why I created employee cards to keep their ID info organized and to charge and pay them on schedule. For this, I designed the booth ladies and safe stations. I needed a friendly face to take care of the paperwork. Paperwork is the worst. Ugh.
The first time I noticed Stitches not being quite well was right after he freed us from our old queen. At first, he was happy. A few days later, he started rambling about very unsettling things that could happen. Unforeseen consequences of what he had done. Where did these ideas come from? Did the queen tell him? Or someone else? Secret password. S-I-H. reading this, it means I am dead. Huh? <clears throat> nah, just kidding. That would be stupid. If someone is reading this, I'll just have to terminate you. Anyway, today I had the most amazing idea. If employees die, their energy becomes a puff of purple smoke that is then sent back here to regenerate a new menu. Sometimes after many regenerations, employees become unstable, organically speaking. But if I skip the organic matter, I can repurpose these guys as intangible blobs of energy. And then, send them back to Greg's army as ghosts. Ugh, even I scare myself sometimes with my brilliant cost-effective ideas. Sword, hammer, down, down. Slink, jump, sling, sling. Go. I lost count of how many times I have heard Mr. Stitches has lost his mind. It angers me that I can't prove them wrong about him. He has made difficult choices that ultimately led us here choices that he had to make to keep us all safe. So, I want to write this down at least once in hopes that I can bring myself to believe it, too. Mr. Stitches is not crazy. But there is definitely something wrong with him, and I'm not talking about the immense burden that he has to carry. There is something else that compels him to act this way. I plan on recording my findings until I obtain definitive proof for my claims. I just want to help my friend. Secret password, BNIM. That's some serious denial. You better jot these passwords down. Generated subjects are new individuals altogether. <clears throat> they have their own identities, gender, and personalities. Best part? They can even get together and start families. 
It's all a cohesive ecosystem of self-generating employees. Super cheap, too. Greg, I perfected the method of erasing memories without damaging the rest of the subject. From now on, trained and test employees have their memories erased before I send them out of the factory. Once they're out, I assign them an ID number, an apartment, and a job to do. No one seems to be emotionally broken because of it, so mission successful. Except for the moth, of course. I apologize for that. I will fix it. It's in my to-do list. Uh-oh. Well, that explains it. gather some evidence for my theory, I planted a small microphone in Mr. Stitch's chamber and waited. But the other voice did not appear. Could this mean it knows what I did? I'm afraid to even write this down. Or maybe the fact that I'm still alive proves that it can't harm me? Perhaps this thing can't physically interact with us. Maybe it can only talk to Stitches. Has it been influencing him all this time? Could it be lying to him about the cycles? And its consequences? I, I can't prove anything, I'm afraid. This voice. This thing might as well not exist in our world. I'm the one who sounds crazy now. Without solid evidence, this is all just conjecture. Stitches could just be insane after all. I don't want to believe it, but the alternative is too far-fetched. Secret password... Ripple-ret-hinny. care of this guy. Design the booth lady's AI to be pretty straightforward. They encourage employees to save often, charge for taxes, and make small talk from time to time. To 
keep them motivated, I have a small desire for travel. For some reason, this caused jealousy among the booth ladies of different regions. Very interesting. And sad. I didn't even design them with legs. I think I'll add that to my to-do list. It will make them happier. Hammer, shield, sword. lights warning. Sword, jump, shield, sling. Down, sling, shield, down. again today. I was about to enter Mr. Stitch's chamber, and I heard him talking to himself. He does this all the time when I'm with him, but this time he hadn't realized I was there, and it almost felt like he was... conversing. I could swear I heard a very different voice coming from his room. There must be someone or something in there with him. This has sparked a number of questions. What is this for an entity? How long has it been in contact with Stitches? What does it want? What is it telling him? I need to do further research. Secret password, NI. Well, that's all four. And I think what I'm going to do is call it here. Grab my potions, save, and call. Let's see. I wonder if it. 
it spells something. B N I M S I H N I. in any case, I'm going to call it here. Things are taking quite a turn. And I can't wait to see how this comes to a head. In any case, if you like what you've seen here, be sure to tune in next week, same time. Also be sure to check out my Sure page. I'll be putting polls and events there. And with all that said, this has been the end of the Monday. Thank you for watching. Hope you all have a good night. Controlled Chaos, signing out.